I'm going to show you how to use the parallax motion video effects in Auto Pixar. Now it's important to note that this feature is only available to certain member levels. So if you don't see the settings, chances are you need to upgrade in order to unlock it. So the first step is to create our design just like we would any other design for any other purpose. Once we've got our design, then the next thing we're going to do is scroll down, select a layer that we want to apply motion to, scroll down, and you'll see where it says parallax effect. Now the options are to zoom in and zoom out, which is pretty self-explanatory. It'll get bigger or smaller. You can move it. So whatever layer you've selected, you can have it literally move around. You can rotate it so it'll spin, sort of. You can change the opacity or, or basically it's transparency. So you can make something look invisible and become visible or make something that's visible become invisible. And you can change the color as well. So for the purposes of this, uh, for the text, I'm going to go with opacity. And I'm going to go from hidden to visible instead of visible to hidden. And then frame rate. Now this is really important. The number of frames, the higher number of frames, the smoother the animation will be. However, it makes a much larger file size. So if you have a really big design in terms of its size, this is 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. So this is a big design. And then you also use a high frame rate. It's going to produce a big file. It's going to take longer to render the, the um, examples and the preview. And it's going to be a bigger file, which you may find is too large to post to social media. So if your purpose is to post this to social media, you should probably go with either a smaller design or a smaller number of frames. But when you play with it a little bit, you'll get used to that. So then once we're ready, we're going to click apply effect. It's going to go ahead and apply that effect. And then it's going to show us a preview of what that effect is going to look like. Now we can apply multiple effects. We can apply effects to multiple layers, but we have to do it one at a time. And when we see the preview, we can decide whether we're happy with it as is, or, and we can just download it, or we can close the preview, go back, select a different layer and apply a different animation. So there's a lot of flexibility with the tool. It's just a matter of taking a little bit to get used to. And as you can see, it takes a little bit to render because it takes a lot in order to produce a large image at 30 frames a second. But you can see there's the preview and it goes from visible, invisible to visible. And that's exactly what it'll look like. Now, if I'm happy with it, I could just download it. But if I want to add another animation, I can close this preview and now I could click on a different layer. In this case, I'm going to click on the background layer. And the parallax effect that I want to add to this is I want to add, I could either do a zoom in and a zoom out, or I could do, um, you know, maybe a rotate. But for this purpose, let's do zoom in and zoom out. We can choose the zoom level. In this case, I want to make it, you know, two times bigger. So it'll start to zoom in. And again, I'll use 30 frames because it makes sense to use the same number of frames for all the animations. And I'm going to apply that effect. Now it's going to take a minute to render again. And when it does, it's going to show us the preview with both of the effects together. And so you can see exactly what your finished product is going to look like. And then you can, you can download your output as basically an animated GIF file, which you'll be able to use anywhere that you can use those types of animated files. So it's rendering the preview for us and it'll be able to produce that in a second. And then we'll be able to see exactly what it's going to look like. Now, the number of different things you can do with the parallax effect is staggering. You can create some really compelling stuff. As you can see, this is a really cool design that would draw the user's or the visitor's eye if you posted this because it has motion, it has some life to it, it has animation, and it looks super cool. So that's exactly how the parallax effect works. And then you just download your design when you're done. Or alternatively, you can even right click on this and you can save the image as an animated GIF to your desktop. So that is how you use the parallax feature in AutoPixar.